Okay, guys, I'm going to pan out a bit so you can see that Jessica is sitting on a bucket. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. And this is these baby goats' first day out of the barn. Yeah, I they're think it's been, out. has it been three nights? We kept them locked up with their mama? Yeah, because they're kind of small when they were born. And uh, the other kid goats were kind of headbutting them a little bit. Not really like a violent headbutting, but playful. Yeah. And their mom wasn't attacking them for it. So normally when that happens, we have to keep them separated for a while until they get to be pretty good on their feet. So that they could run away and hide behind their mama. Yeah. And their mom is pretty... Yeah, their mom is pretty low uh, on the totem pole, yeah, so... that's why she's kind of skinny. <laughs> that's why she doesn't protect them super well, and uh, they need to have some shepherd... She's not a very violent mom. Yeah. You know, those tiger moms <laughs> they talk about in China, that's not Coco. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta shepherd this goat, and you gotta yeah. shepherd these babies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing them out so that she's comfortable to come out here and graze so that she gains some weight and keeps making a lot of milk for these two. And uh, they basically spend the whole time on our laps because they're really too small for this. They just fall asleep everywhere. They wouldn't even make it this far out by themselves. They wouldn't walk away from the barn. They're still at the part where they just run under their mama and she stands there and feeds them. Yeah. If we didn't have the two of us to carry them, because they are quite little chunks, they're probably five pounds each, uh, well, we'd just leave them in the stall. Bigger than five pounds. <laughs> Yeah, we just leave them in the stall and take yeah. the mom out to graze and come back and let her have them. If we had a bunch of them like this, we'd, we'd, uh, we'd have to put them in a stall together. No more than like five of them in a stall on a cold day because they pile on top of each other and somebody gets squished. Isn't that the truth? Even yeah. if you give them a heat lamp, they still smush the small one. Yeah, there's always going to be a smaller one and it's normally a girl, which automatically makes it worth more money when it gets squished. <laughs> You're like, ah! Oh! Yeah. Why couldn't you squish the billy? No offense, billies, but you're just not worth as much. <laughs> yet. Yet. Yes. They'll be worth more later. Yeah. Uh, Dolings are just worth more at birth. Well, they're worth more if they get big and beefy. And you Look at how big Blue off. is compared to that baby goat. He's only two weeks old. I thought he was three weeks. Two and a half? Yeah, but he was born from a big mama and he was the only baby in there. He's monster huge. That's Cupcake blue. Is older than, than Coco. <laughs> and she's more full size. Yeah, he's she's checking older. out the new babies on your on your lap. He's like, hey. Hey, what's going on? What's he? He's like, he's no. Like, That's my spot. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys are cute. So you gotta monitor little baby goats really close. The recipe for disaster to not monitor them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're not, we don't have predator-proof goats. We have milk goats. Yeah, I think predator-proof goats are <clears throat> called mountain goats. <laughs> the ones that can scale a sheer cliff. Yeah, the ones that walk up dams and whatnot to get to lick the salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these goats can't do that. Uh, they wouldn't even try to do that. They're domestic. They're domestic animals, and domestic animals rely on their, their people. For like everything. They're like totally reliant on <laughs> Food, everything. water, shelter, everything. Yeah. Kid rearing. Some people do try to breed them to be less reliant on people, but they end up wild as March hares. Yeah. You hardly get your hands on them. And then, uh, what was it? It was a, a boar cross goat that Noel grabbed the horns of to try and put in the van. And he <laughs> was longer. He did. <laughs> up and over him. He she tossed me. To him, but it was a wild ride. He's like a bucking bronco. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Yeah. All right. Well, enjoy your day grazing with your baby goats. Bye.